today's toy spot we're having a look at the Mezco Earthworm Gym. We're looking at Earthworm Gym with Plasma Blaster and Bendable Worm Body. These line of figures have just come out, just have been released by the good folks at Mezco. For ages 15 and up, Earthworm Jim. The original Earthworm Jim line was uh, a line that was released in the 80s, brought to us by the good folks at Playmates. As much as I enjoyed the Playmates line of Earthworm Jim figures, I always thought in the back of my mind, hmm, it's a shame that they don't re redo an Earthworm Jim figure. Maybe give them some more articulation, better accessories. Well, look what ended up coming, knocking at our door many, many moons later from the good folks at Mezco. I like the packaging. You can see Earthworm Jim at the top there with his rideable rocket holding his little blaster gun there. And on the back of the package, there's a picture of Earthworm Jim. You can see the entire Mezco catalog. Visit MezcoToys with a Z dot com. As for the read-up, it says, spending his days eating dirt and tunneling through the earth, Jim was an ultra-ordinary worm. When one day, bam, an ultra-high-tech, uh, in indestructible super space cyber suit falls on him, and he's cast into the throes of superheroism. Jim was mutated into the ultra-highly intelligent, for a worm, of course, crusader that we know today. Traveling throughout the galaxy, launching cows and battling malevolent goldfish, make up a normal day in Jim's life and then down below, it's next to it says, dang. The super accurate action figure of the alt universe's most groovalicious hero features eight points of articulation. Jim's plasma blaster and cyber suit. Certainly can't wait to get this opened up, so what I am going to do is take a bit of a break. We're going to get Jim opened up here, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Earthworm Jim. Stay tuned, there's definitely more on the way. Being such a huge Earthworm Jim fan growing up, I loved playing those games originally on the Sega Genesis. I think I ended up getting Earthworm Jim as well on the Super Nintendo. I absolutely love and always have hoped for a perfect Earthworm Jim figure. Um, I think Mezco has done a fantastic job. There are a few hiccups here and there which we will discuss, but as a whole, I think this figure really knocks one out of the park. For starters, his face, at least the worm face that's in his body, is really, really neat. You got a grimacing face going on there, the big bulging eyes, all aspects that you would come to love with old Jim over here. I think the detail work on the suit itself is also top notch. Just really, really nice work. As soon as I saw initial production photos of what this figure was going to look like, I could not wait to get this guy in hand. Uh, in hand, I do really think he is a nice, nice figure. Now, he does have two accessories, which we'll I'll just put Jim down here for a second. Uh, for starters, he does come with his plasma blaster, which looks like it had been yanked directly out of the game. Some nice coloring there. We've got the dark crimson red, the actual gun on the inside. Kind of got like a darker goldish yellow. And in the end, we've got that yellow tip. Uh, he only has the one hand, the one closed hand that can hold the, the plasma blaster. And let's just get that into his hand here, like so. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's made in such a way like his finger could have been sticking out a little further so it looked more so like he was actually like he actually had his finger on the trigger but still all things considered it's really neat uh, perfectly indicated as well his holster is way too small to actually hold the plasma blaster but uh, I, I would not have it any other way we will just leave Jim here for a second with his plasma blaster in hand the other accessory that Jim does come with is a bendable worm body. 
Now it's a little bit different of a face. Still grimacing, of course, still angry, but slightly sculpted, well, sculpted a little bit different than that of the actual one that comes with his body. Just for a comparison, you can see the difference between the two. Now, unlike the one that's actually in his body, the standalone gym, you can actually bend. There's a wire frame inside the body of the worm, as you can indicate here by the breathe, breathing holes there. And you can really bend them in, in a wide, different, wide range of different poses. All of which look really, really cool. Now, the one thing I was thinking when I initially got the figure, I was thinking to myself, I like the fact that he comes with an, a worm body, but if the actual head, the actual head does not come out of that body, the actual suit, to have Earthworm Jim and then a body of the actual worm of Jim on the side makes really no sense whatsoever. However, they did think it out because actually Earthworm Jim, his head is sitting inside the body via a ball joint. Now, I would not advise taking this out too often because I would be very worried. I'd be very worried that you would add continuous stress that maybe eventually that could break off. However, with a little finessing, you can actually take Jim's head out completely. And what you could do is have Jim's uh, robot body, the actual suit body, uh, without the head. And then you could have Jim kind of sitting loose. Well, let's not have the actual suit fall on him. Could have the actual suit sitting loose next to Jim, like so. Or if you want, you could take the blaster out of his hand, and you can have Jim actually, the suit itself, actually hold Jim. Like a whip, for example. Or if you want, you could pretend like he's going to be, you know, playing jump rope. So there's a couple of different options. I mean, ultimately, if you're going to, I would be just inclined to have Jim kind of standing next to the suit like so. I think that kind of looks cool as well. I mean, really, at the end of the day, for me, I would definitely display my Jim with the worm head, actually, the worm body actually inside the body. This is the one thing that I don't care for, if, if anything could be said. Um... I'm not sure how Jim actually sits inside the suit, whether he's just curled in the top. Um, it does look like it could be curled. Like you could see, like if his head was in there, the rest of the body was curled inside. I would almost have preferred if this was darker because it almost, from, from a distance, it almost looks more so like his whole, his whole body is is uh, is a worm body inside, which isn't really necessarily the case. Um, sure, it does look like it's sculpted, like it's the tail of the worm wrapped around. But I would almost prefer if this had just been darker, so it would have just added to the fact that he is, it's a hollow suit, and the, the worm body is sitting inside of it. Let's just get the head back in there. Again, be very careful. It seems like it's not going to give you too much of a problem, but again, I don't want to say pull. you can keep putting the head in and taking it out kind of thing, because it might add to stress on the actual ball joint here, at least in time, I don't know. It may, it may or may not happen. But definitely the display with the head is, is the way I am going to go. Some detail on the actual back here with his backpack. Is that not where he pulls out his rocket, jumps on, flies away? I would almost hope that maybe down the road they will give us uh, maybe other gyms, maybe even a, uh, an actual rocket that you know you could have them displayed next to Jim. Um, the only really other gripe I could make about the actual figure, I, there's so very few gripes I could make about the, this figure itself, um, but uh, of all the areas where he has articulation, the one area that he doesn't is actually in his legs. He's got no articulation in the knees, no articulation in the feet. It initially bothered me. Spot really didn't like the fact that it was just pre-posed down below. But the more I think about it, the more I think it's probably a good idea. Um, Jim is so substantially large up top 
and so scrawny in the legs that if you were to put joints, if you were to put articulation in these actual knees, guaranteed in time, those knees would get so loose that you would basically have a, a, a toy, you would have a figure on shelf that would basically just keep flopping over and falling all over the place because they're, these joints would just get extremely loose. So while I did initially think, ah, I really would be nice if they had it, I'm looking back on it now, I'm glad that they left it staction. In, in other words, this, in the fact that this piece does not do anything, the legs don't do anything than what you're, do, what you're looking at right now. Uh, speaking of Jim's articulation, Jim's head rotates on that ball joint. Being that he is on a ball joint, you get really a lot of movement out of the actual head. Ooh, that's kind of a good look there. Uh, his arms are on a pin and socket, so you can rotate them all the way around, like so. You can rot bend them out, like so. Bend at the elbow. You can rotate at the glove or forearm. He has a rotation in that waist, and, uh, and that's it. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now technically it says eight. I don't know really where the eighth bit of articulation comes from. Let's see it on the package. It definitely does say, I think it did say eight, eight points, of, yes, eight points of articulation. So we got one in the head, two, three, four, five, six, se oh, eight, eight in the waist. Look at you, Spot, you're being so silly. Let's get his blaster back in his hand. Luckily, his blaster fits really, really well in his hand. There's no problems at all. But I think you're, you get a really, really nice figure. And I can't highly, I can't recommend this guy enough. If you really have been wanting the definitive Earthworm Jim figure, uh, look no further than the one that came via Mezco in this line. I shouldn't really say line. It's only one Earthworm Jim so far. I think there's also the metallic uh, San Diego Comic-Con version of him as well. Uh, Earthworm Jim just, for me, personifies this, the ultimate Earthworm Jim figure. I'm going to give Earthworm Jim here a 9.5. Groovy. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Mezco Earthworm Jim. Let me know down below what you guys think of this figure. Do you love him as much as this guy does? And I will definitely see you guys next time.